<laughs> Guys, this is not, this is not my Halloween makeup. This is my everyday still. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Mia Mamid, Miss Universe Brazil 2022, and I'm about to teach you how to do this Halloween look. So let's get botched together. So in the beginning, I always put some lotion, but since I started my sunscreen, I'm gonna go right ahead and put my everyday foundation. I think the secret to a really great makeup is for you to take your time with the skin. You can't speed this process up. So Botched is a really special show for me because I remember the last time I did a marathon with my grandma was when I was sick and she was taking care of me. That's something that we share together. It's rare for us to find a show that we both love. This one is, and today when I was coming over, I just kept thinking of our, of our time together and our best memories. So grandma, I'm dedicating this look to you. I have a friend that is a makeup artist and he always tells me that the secret to a really great makeup is also for you to think about light and darkness and try to look at your face and think if it was perfectly lit, where would that be light and where would that be shadows? And that's what you try to recreate. So you're gonna see me put, but I've got um, an undertone, like a pinky undertone. So instead of doing a, um, a brown shadow on my cheeks, I usually play with a pinky shadow. Not eyeshadow, like literally light, light and darkness shadow. I started um, doing my makeup when I was really young. My mom always wore, and I would go to her room and play with everything. And she always thought that the best way for me to learn was by doing it. So she would buy those kitty makeup kits and just let me play and play. And I would copy her. I copied everything my mother did. I think my mom is, is and to this day, a great influence in my life. And in rare occasions, when my dad was in a really good mood, I, think, I don't think he's gonna be happy that I'm sharing this, but he would let me put makeup on him. Those were the best Sundays. What brought me to New York truly was the United Nations. Since I was a young girl, I've always dreamt of working with them. As a teenager, you might know this, but you might have participated as well in Model United Nations. It's always very active. And as an adult, since I moved back to Brazil and opened my production company, me and my company, we have joined the movement, the sustainable development movement with the Agenda 2030 that has all of the 17 objectives that we must achieve. And I've been focusing specifically on the 4th with education and on the 10th for um, fighting against inequality. You want to put only on the light parts. You don't want to cover our shadows. I like less. I know I know. it seems like I have a lot, but I kind of, when I'm traveling, I like to have less things. So I use the same palette on my eyes. And I really like to start with the cream and then you can put powder on top to set it. I always add the color that I want on the outside and I put a luminous color on the inside to open my eyes a little bit because I know that I have a long face. And that is really important. When you're doing your makeup, you need to know your face really well, your shapes and what you like and what you don't like. And that way you can always bring out the things that you love about yourself. Um, and I do like my eyes, so I like them to stand out a little bit more. And that is why I bring the light to the inner corners super important for you to blend afterwards so it doesn't look like two separate things. It's easier to blend as well afterwards with some Ta-da! With eyeshadow. And I'll just add to the middle. You gotta always clean your fingers because otherwise you touch your face and suddenly you're, you don't know why there's weird spots everywhere. Okay. Now that I'm done with the color in the eyes, I'll remove the baking because you guys are tired of seeing me like this. Pageantry is something that I always admired and I always watched. And since I've moved back to Brazil, 
I work a lot as a journalist, you know, reporting and producing. So actually, I got back into pageantry hosting pageants. And then after I hosted, I went on to, you know, help the candidate. Because I really wanted my state to win. Never in the history of Miss Universe Brazil has Espírito Santo become Miss Brazil. So I was working with her, I was helping her with her communication, with her English, with everything that I could. And the, the team and different people started coming up to me and being like, hey, how old are you? Like, Wait, why are you only, you know, helping? Why aren't you competing? And I was like, no, I think it's not, I, I don't think it's my time anymore. Like, I've got my company, things are going well. But the more that I got into it, the more I, I realized how it is an incredible opportunity for women who have very clear what they want in their lives. If they have their purpose really clear, their mission, their career goals, and if they have a true philanthropic heart, it's such a phenomenal opportunity to do great work. And life will take you places you didn't even imagine you would go. So. I think pageant was a surprise in my life and an incredible surprise that I'm so, so, so happy I listened and I'm here. And now I'm going over my pencil with the liquid liner that also dries the, the cream underneath. So that is super important. You want your makeup to last, cream, set. So for the same reason that I put the lightness in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm also not bringing my eyeliner all the way to the end because in that way I would counter the effect that I was trying to do which is to open up and push my eyes outwards. I only went in on the inside, on the waterline. I don't know why I leave the, uh, the eyebrows to the end but they just feel like a, like a good ending point. You always brush them first before doing anything, and I've got this little kit to fill in. Just, I don't. I, I like my eyebrows, and I do them myself. Now the last, last, last bit is the lashes. And I don't know about you, but it happens all the time that when I'm done, I'm like so happy that it's done and I'm ready to go that I forget to do the lashes. You know, after I don't know if you've ever seen anybody post surgery have little bruises on their eyes, so we want to add those. Don't be afraid to exaggerate, it's Halloween. Definitely if you have purple, it's perfect. I love surprising people, so I'm always the one that looks the craziest, the worst on Halloween, because the reaction is priceless. <laughs> Remember how I said before, it's better for you to add less and add as you go because removing is really hard? Well, since we're being botched and we're going over the top, I want you to take back your, um, your contour and add as if you were trying to change your entire face. So we're just gonna put a lot and we're not gonna, we're not gonna smooth it out. We're gonna leave it. Like you really can't go wrong. It's just do too much. There we go, okay. Now we get the, just whatever pencil you have. So we're gonna start as if we were getting a surgery on our forehead. We wanna lift, right. Lift these eyebrows up. And then I wanna get rid of all of those bags under my eyes. No, 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 no. Let's fix it with surgery. Now we gotta fix this nose. Right, no, gotta fix this nose. So Botched is a show that I watch with my grandma. It's hard to find shows that my grandma and I both love. And this is one that we can watch for hours after hours. I keep thinking about all of the possible surgeries that one can get done. And I'm just adding all of them at once to really play on that extreme take. I think that's what Halloween is, is you take something and you take it to the next level and, and you look at things in a light form. You can also smudge 
the lipstick if you want. I think just to play around, I'm gonna try this way. So my advice is, what do you put underneath? You can either just wear a robe or you can buy enough of this that you can just wrap all over your body. If you get some blood, make sure to smudge your lipstick, add blood to all of the places where you would have had the cuts. So right here, 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 and here, and obviously enjoy, like you can just really make this area bloody and the wrap, because the, the wrap would be dirty as well. Okay. Do we like it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I did this entire makeup as well as I could so they could inspire you. Maybe, please, please, I beg you, if you do this look for Halloween, you have to tag at Miss Universe and at Mima Mead because we both want to see your version of the Miss Universe Brazil botched Halloween look. Thank you for sticking around till the very end and I'll be seeing you at the Miss Universe competition.